just got four hours of sleep and all i want to do right now is go to sleep caleb's in the back right now sleeping and i literally want to be him <laughs> craving right now and that's gonna wake me up. Guys, I low-key have energy and I don't know why. But like this is gonna make my energy go even higher. higher. Just journal and just like spend time with myself doing that. What's that noise? Oh, that's funny. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also gonna have a banana or something because I am gonna work out. And if I eat like a full breakfast meal, I'm gonna throw up. And I'm not even kidding about that. So I'm just gonna have like something small just to like fill me. Oh, I was just trying to do cheers with you guys. Ready, guys? Watch this. Oh. Gentle. Gentle. Ah, ah. Gentler. You gotta be more gentle. Gentle. I care. Just applied sunscreen by Fenty Skin. It literally just has 30 SPF, but it's good to have sunscreen either way. I'm going in with the Say Star Glow. I love this stuff. It's so good. It just makes my skin look so glowy, as it literally says Star Glow. I'm going to go in with the Elf Halo Glow Filter just to cover my under eyes because they are dark. Like you can tell I didn't get sleep last night, oh, but I literally couldn't get sleep.
But now I'm on a trail and guys, it feels so good to be here. I'm literally at, I'm literally at, what am I? It's currently 8 p.m. and 8 p.m. <laughs> I can't, I can't think. It's currently 8 a.m. And I can't even believe I got so much done. Me and Caleb are on a trail. I definitely recommend going on a trail like this early. It feels so good because it's not like super hot. And as you guys know, it's like summer. But like fall is coming, which is like the best part because it starts to get colder out. So it just feels good. But anyways, yeah. We're just going on a walk. I've been listening to music. Guys, look at the birds. I think it's too early for Caleb. <laughs> Good morning. Could I get a small ice chai tea latte with marshmallow cold foam? And that'll be all. You too. Ice chai tea with marshmallow cold foam. So good. Like, I definitely recommend this. I get it in a small because, like, if I have a large, like, it makes my stomach curse so bad. But marshmallow cold foam at Dunkin', at Dunkin is, so is so good. Like, Caleb's getting my gas for me. I got done with my shower and I want to show you guys the outfit that I'm wearing. It's so comfy. I'm wearing this tank top from Adept and then these shorts are from Cider. I feel so comfy right now. Literally after my shower, I have to put like a comfy fit on even though if I'm gonna like get ready and go out, I need to wear something comfy and then pick my outfit. But apparently I texted my nail lady and she isn't available. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. Not even my second backup nail lady is like available too. My nail lady is out of town. So I don't even know what to do. I think I'm just gonna have to like wait it out somehow, maybe take them off by myself because they're literally all coming off i think it would come off so easily i literally keep gluing them back on it it's so embarrassing but i guess it's just a sign to chill at home maybe get some work done or something like that i don't know but right now i'm gonna make breakfast because i'm a little bit hungry and we'll see what we'll do <laughs> all i'm having for breakfast right now because i don't feel like making anything else i am not a breakfast morning person anymore i don't know why but like i'll just have a bigger lunch later we also don't have fruits right now and i usually like having like yogurt and fruits and you guys know that okay so right now i am currently gonna get ready and do my makeup right now i think it's like 10 p.m i laid on the couch for a little bit because i honestly felt tired but now i feel better and i just want to do my makeup took off the makeup that i had from this morning and just gonna do like a full makeup that i do every day but you guys i feel like i got so much done like if you're thinking about waking up at 5 a.m at least for one day even if you're like still in summer i definitely recommend it it'll also like get you back on track with waking up early for school and some of you guys are probably already back in school so you guys are probably already waking up at 5 a.m and i couldn't even imagine like i used to wake up at 4 a.m for school just to get ready like can you even believe that i don't know i mean it was truly just to get ready for the day because it was like my favorite part and then i'd get to school and i'd have like the school air where it messes up the whole makeup you know what i mean like something in the school like it's just not good i genuinely can't even open this oh wait i got it did it okay no i did not so don't mind the background i have like a bunch of stuff because i want to do a unbox pr with me i've seen so many other people do it and so i've just been collecting all of the boxes and stuff like that i've been receiving i'm really excited to show you guys because i'm excited to open it myself and i want to do like a little giveaway for you guys too so that will be sometime soon the one tip i would give to you guys for those that are going back to school and have to wake up early or are trying to wake up at 5 a.m i would say to set one alarm and then just like wake up to that one alarm i've heard that if you have like a bunch of alarms you literally will just keep sleeping which is what happens to me like i'll have set five alarms and i won't get up because i'll just keep snoozing it because i know there's gonna be another alarm after that and i'll be able to wake up maybe but i really just keep sleeping so i definitely recommend setting an alarm just one i forgot to put my hair up another tip i would say is to follow the 5321 method if you don't know what that is it's basically when your alarm goes off you count from five to one and you just get up like you don't think of anything else the first thing you do is five three two one and you get up i know it sounds like cringy but like i used to do it for school and it helps so much or like whenever i wanted to wake up at 5 a.m it would help me so i definitely recommend doing that along with like the one alarm clock because i feel like if you have a bunch of alarms you just comfort yourself knowing that there's another alarm after that so you just like sleep on until the fifth alarm is done and then you're like okay let's get up so i feel like it's better to just stick with that one alarm if you think you're gonna wake up way later because like in reality you're gonna just want it to sleep at least for me and everybody else that's gonna wake up at 5 a.m or anytime super early it's definitely hard if you're gonna wake up and you don't really have a plan of what you're gonna do because if you're gonna wake up at 5 a.m you're gonna have breakfast and do like your normal morning routine what are you supposed to do after that like you're just gonna pass out which is what happened to me so i definitely recommend planning out what you're gonna do so that you keep yourself busy throughout the morning unless you're just gonna fall asleep like let's be honest i also do not get enough sleep so definitely get enough sleep that you can feel energized and do the most that you can for the day guys i've been really wanting to change up this room like make it look cuter but we don't know if we're gonna be moving it so it's kind of like a waste of time
time if I even try to decorate this room. So that's why this room looks boring every time I film in it and I don't like it because every time I'm like, this is just so plain and boring. So yeah, our lease ends in like three months. So we've kind of just been on the lookout and trying to think if we're gonna move or not. here i really hope you guys enjoyed it comment down below what time you wake up because i'm wondering i usually wake up around 7 a.m 8 a.m but yeah anyways thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video